Konichi fucking wa. This is the goddamn Kiwi, and we've got another super happy fun time show on our hands. I hope you're ready for this because I'm not. We're playing Kirby's Epic Yarn. We're gonna start a new save file, even though clearly I'm tearing ass on this file that I probably haven't touched in months or years or whenever it's been since I last tried to play this game. Um, oh, party foul. Party foul. I didn't, I didn't refresh my drink. So this needs to happen. And because I'm recording, this needs to happen audibly, so... Mm-hmm. Super happy fun time juice activating. It's a multi-tiered process. Whoops. I mean, no, this is intentional. Totally part of the process. This is going to be amazingly brutal. And this is going to make for the best, worst, extended, and pointless intro ever. Did, did the game stop making sounds? Is it actually silent on the menu, or did I accidentally mute my... Um... No? No, it's just silent. Alright, we're starting file 3, because 3 is the most superior number I could possibly ever use. Now, clearly we've got all the classic Kirby tropes here. We've got Wispy. Oh god, there's voice acting in this game. Okay, so we got Wispy, we got the Halberd, we got a castle, which is probably day -de -de or day to day or if you've got a third pronunciation, you're still also wrong, because it's dee -de -de. Calling it here now, folks. Ha! And I will never watch this video again later. Because reasons. So, we've got some slightly unskippable cutscenes. I could butt mash through this, but instead... No, I'm going to butt mash through this. I'm, I'm going to spare you guys from my awkward reading of lines for the moment. I make no promises for the rest of forever. Oh god, we're three minutes in I still haven't accomplished a goddamn thing. Alright, so we're playing Kirby's Epic Yarn. Uh... Kirby game on the Wii. It came out in insert year here, which I want to. I will not insert this year later. Uh, that's going to be the... Okay, so we're playing the tutorial level, which assumes I don't know a goddamn thing about how to discover things for myself. I mean, look at this. Look, look, look at this shit. It's, it's flat out telling you, hey, you're too stupid to know that you can press buttons on the controller and figure out what happens from it. So we're going to tell you, hey, there's a box thing here, and you got to fucking do this, and it's going to fucking get rid of the box. <sighs> Special in actual video thanks to Ego Raptor and his sequelitis series, specifically the Mega Man sequelitis video where he does such an excellent job of tearing apart the concept of doing shit like this in games. I mean, Mega Man X was a brilliant example of, hey, you can just throw a fucking person into the middle of playing a game and they can figure shit out for themselves, because gamers ain't stupid. This game is kind of stupid, though. Look at this. Like, I'm holding a thing so I can't actually go up the ladder. I can, I can fucking hit the button all I want, and all it does is make Kirby's face creepily shift up his body until I lose the thing that I'm holding. Oh, God. Can I be done with this tutorial level yet? Well, thanks to the power of editing, I can.
So now that I've successfully obliterated the tutorial level as though I wasn't the, I'm calling it here, 6 to 11 year old child this game was designed for, yeah, yeah, I said it, hashtag deal with it, fuck stains. What was my point? Why did I start insulting everyone again? Uh, well, I mean... I'm having a super happy fun time. Um, oh god. I remember that asshole down there. He wants me to deal with the fact that he wants to give me... <sighs> can't he, I can't avoid him. He wants to give me an apartment. He wants me to spend my time putting shit in here like I'm actually going to give a fuck about this game. Clearly in... The entire time that I've owned this game, I haven't given a fuck more than 6% of actual gameplay. And I don't even know if that was, like, pro strats 100% completionist level of 6%. Or if that was just, I'm gonna butt mash through everything and just fuck you and whatever. 6%. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Today's super happy fun time juice is not quite agreeing with me, but hey, an artist sacrifices himself for his cause, and as I've shown before, I sacrifice English for the sake of things. Alright, so we're on a new level now. I don't... Part of me feels like I'm supposed to explain anything to people, like, hey, maybe they've never played this game before, and I should, like, give some level of respect to the fact that, hey, this is a game, and it's totally possible to play this game and enjoy it for what it is, and maybe some people don't know much about it, they want information about it. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh. There's a flower sofa. Okay. Um. Well, shit. Yet another train of thought has sailed. Oh, shit. That was bad. There's, there's a thing that was over here that I should have gotten before I fucking pulled the thing. Can I... Yeah, no. I can't undo it. Oh, God. This... I'm I'm sorry to everyone ever, but this game is just fucking lame. It's uh, it's it's not really classic Kirby, because I mean, look at this. I try to jump up and you know puff up and start flying around. No, I just I just get a parachute ability that makes me float slowly down. I hit down in air, I drop down like I'm fucking Mario ground pounding the ground, which isn't even a mechanic until fucking Mario 64, but hey, my, my disdain for Mario's transition to 3D is a whole other topic, which is definitely going to garner hate in the comments, so to speak. I'll say so to speak because there are no comments. There's there's a couple people who like this shit so far, but nobody else knows what the fuck's going on because they're they're Five, thirty-two, four hundred thirty-two things, beads, and just in the span of trying to say what the fuck I have, I've nearly doubled it. Because why not? I mean, <laughs> why not? So you collect fuck tons of beads, and they're worth points, and you get enough beads, and you get like. 
gold ranking on shit. I mean, knowing Kirby games, all gold rankings means you can actually unlock the actual ending of the game, the actual fucking... Oh, this is excruciating to me. This is so bad. I... There's, there's no death in this game. Worst that happens to you is occasionally you find an enemy that's actually capable of hurting you, and it just makes you drop beads. And just, that's it. That's it. Like, not in this level, but there's at least other levels where they're like, you know, pits. You know, you'd expect that. Oh, you, you fell in the pit. You lost a life. I mean, Mario on the NES introduced the concept of, hey... Sometimes, you just don't fall into a hole in the ground. This game says, oh, you fell into the hole in the ground? Well, I'll lose some beads, but it doesn't matter. I can only assume that this game talks to you in just the most irritating, high-pitched, condescending voice possible, because it's that garbage. I, uh, look at this. The... You can do no wrong in this game. Everything you do is just like, oh, hey, look at you. You're just scoring all the points. You're just, you're just doing so well. It's, it's the same problem I have with, like, culture in. Probably gonna have to delete a lot of that rant in editing. I'm probably going to leave that statement in and just let people wonder what the fuck I had to leave out. <laughs> oh man, look at this. I'm tearing ass on this because I just mash all the fucking buttons. Oh god. Sorry for snorting mucus on cam, but just... <sighs> you can have as much of a super happy fun time as you want, but sometime reality says, hey, y your body's acting suboptimally at the moment. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's the worst thing that's happened to me in a game so far, is I hit a thing and I lost a bunch of beads. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I was bitching about that before. Oh, look. Look, I beat the level. And I've got, like, way beyond the high score. And if I timed that right, I just got, like, the max bonus. Look at the, Look at this shit. I, I just got 3,223 beads on this level. I, I don't know if the counter, the 21 star thing in the corner was, like, counting up some kind of super platinum level of nonsense. I don't know. I went far enough around to get gold thing for the shit, and then look at that. Not only did I get 3,223 beads in this level, but I also got 5,005 things as my overall reward because I did all this stuff so hardcore well. Oh, hey, we're at 16 minutes. Well, what do you fucking knowledge? That 16-minute statement is not going to make any goddamn sense in the context of the finished edited video. Doesn't matter. So, I'm told that I can place a patch to open a new stage. I mean, okay. Very classic Kirby trope. You beat a level, you literally unlock part of the world map you're on that opens up the next level. For instance, Kirby's Adventure on the NES. Literally the same mechanic, except you didn't have stupid, oh, I gotta go over to the thing and push a button and watch a stupid cut sequence. No, it's just you beat the level, hey, here's a fast little cut scene, bam, you're done. You're, you're already moving. Like, I would already be on my way into the level at this point. Like, NES had its shit together. That's part of the reason that I've been doing classic NES games and wanting to do Super Nintendo games, but I, I don't actually have the proper library for shit like that at this point. Eh, whatever. Oh, God, we're going to throw another level at you here. Except... For 
for those of you keeping square at home. That was the sound of me... Excuse me. Refueling my super happy fun time. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, these things. I don't I don't know why I'm trying so hard to get the beads. I don't know what I'm doing here. Like I mean I know what I'm doing here, but just the way this game plays, it's it's not really even a Kirby game. Special thanks to Zen Trody for being the mother goddamn fucker who told me that I should play this specifically for this being the second, th th third super happy, I can't count, third super happy fun time show. Yeah, Zen Trody, you're the reason this is happening, and you were fucking wrong. Or maybe you're right, maybe this is exactly what you thought would happen, and kudos to you. If this is what you thought was going to happen, if you thought I was going to say to here and go, look at me, I'm swinging off of some kind of dandelion spore button thing and commenting on how this is in a Kirby game, hey, you nailed it. I mean, look at this. Look at this. I'm running face first into him, and it doesn't actually give me any hindrance whatsoever. Any, any, any other game would have literally caused me a penalty for some reason at some point through the entire time that I'm just face bumping him. But no, this game's like, hey, um, I mean, we'd really like you to keep continuing, but I mean, if this is one you want to do with your life, we're supportive of that. Oh, thank fuck I'm at the end of the level. Hey, I got so many bonus things up the anus. Seriously, like, god damn, this is, this is a non-game. This is, this is an interactive nonsensical experience for people who grew up in the coddling era. Alcohol, my permanent accessory. Alcohol, a party time necessity. This super happy fun time show is feeling a lot like an episode of This is Bullshit because this game is just bullshit. It's just not a game. Oh god, he just said pickle straight. So on the next Super Happy Fun Time show, there will be hopefully anything but this. Deuces.